Oh my God, everyone, it's so great to be here roasting AJ, the jewel pod that became a real boy. Uh, so AJ's mom died when he was in college and it was very sad. Uh, yeah, because he had to stop breastfeeding. That's cute. I... <laughs> My mom is dead. The worst part is she has to hang out with Sarah's abortions now, you know? <laughs> I'm sure she's just up there like, you guys dodged a bullet. You don't understand. It's, it's way worse down there. You know, I feel better knowing they're at peace now, so that's good. Um, all right, AJ told me he's a big fan of the bears, but he won't say no to a twink either. <laughs> It's fun. Sarah, if you're here, who's standing up for the black friends you don't have? <laughs> Sarah has a face that says all dogs go to heaven, but immigrants don't. <laughs> I got that out of my system at the RNC. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Everyone, give it up for the guy you see on Tinder and go, uh, I guess. <laughs> Give it up for the girl you see on Bumble and say, oh, fuck no. <laughs> fair, very fair. <laughs> Sarah's actually having a long, uh, hard time dating, uh, mainly because her eyes are in a long distance relationship. <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, actually, that comes, that comes from my mom's side of the family. Uh, too soon? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, AJ's sister is bisexual, his haircut, full lesbian. <laughs> Eat him. Oh, God. God damn, all right. <laughs> yeah, okay. I love this woman so much. Anyway, okay. you can go. <laughs> yeah, all right. Sarah's so racist, she's just upset that Kamala Harris is in town. <laughs> Or as Sarah calls her, Jacked Cat Williams. <laughs> it's her words, right? Yeah, that is so crazy coming from a guy who looks like he asked if the pussy's gluten-free, so... <laughs> I... Whoa. Do you have a gluten allergy? <laughs> Sarah is what happens when you uh, microwave a Barbie doll. <laughs> AJ, if you're here, who's explaining the beef between Kendrick and Drake to a woman who didn't ask? <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. That's good. That's a good one. <laughs> Sarah looks like in high school she pretended to be friends with the Down syndrome kid. <laughs> And he pretended Sarah didn't have Down syndrome. <laughs> oh, man, you guys just watched me internalize that one. Yikes. <laughs> uh, we got to really wrap this up, though. AJ has to go pick out a Blackhawks jersey to get pegged in later. <laughs> uh, I, Sarah looks like a discontinued sex robot. That might be some other. I got one more. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> We have one more, yeah. Guys, I don't know if you appreciated the sacrifice AJ has made to be here. Every moment he's here, the Anime Titties subreddit goes unmoderated, so <laughs> give it up for him. I got a sub for tonight, all right. <laughs> Sarah is a consultant for McDonald's. Yes. Yeah, they designed the Super Size campaign after her forehead, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> and fun fact, the ball pit is actually named after her throat, so there's that. Because, and say it with me, they both have herpes. Yes. I was waiting for the herpes one. Glad you got that in there. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I think they should fuck. Now, give it up for them, everybody. Oh, my God. Open with that one, huh? Yeah, welcome to the comedy show, guys. Yeah, welcome. This is the roast battle. This is the first battle. That was great. Brett Kiefer, what did you think of these two? 
Hey, look at that. They both had jokes. That's crazy. Uh, that was great. Sarah, I'm fantastic. It's the first time I've seen you. You fucking held your own for sure. I thought it was fantastic. Fuck you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Way better than that stripper earlier. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being mean. Yeah, is that a black eye? No, it's a brown. Oh yeah, and that's what AJ told you to tell everybody. <laughs> yeah. Don't run him out part. like that. <laughs> no, uh, I thought it was great, but uh, yeah, both of you guys did fantastic. But I think the slight advantage goes to AJ. I think. Yeah, slight advantage to AJ. <laughs> yes, the drunk hot girls are very upset. By <laughs> Max. Step brother, stop roasting me. <laughs> I love you. Wait, Sarah, you you have herpes? Yeah. That's disgusting. I did joke about having herpes. That's right. Nice. How big on her? She's trying to get in there so bad. Yeah, Max, you got something else you want to say? Roast. <laughs> I think it was really funny, Sarah, you had the best joke with the Kendrick beef, but I think yeah. AJ was more consistent, so I gotta give it to AJ. Okay, AJ wins the battle. Yeah. Boom! Yeah. Boom. Yeah. 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 He had the joke! Enough! <laughs> Guys, obviously they made the wrong call, but... No! No! no. You know what? I love both! Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna don't. No, I do. I'm gonna. Like, okay. I love them both. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm gonna ride with the girl. Yeah. We all want you to ride with the we girl. All? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Horny show tonight. <laughs> Speaking of horny, Katie can get what you think. Let her have her moment. Give her a moment. I am fully horned up after that. <laughs> Oh, this yeah. is so fucking fun. That is a classic roast battle in Roast Battle Chicago. So much fun. I love seeing a bisexual woman. Also, Sarah's up there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you both look like you are mid-transition to beat each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so good. So many amazing. The abortion comeback from AJ was amazing. The fucking long distance, the microwave, Barbie, the ball pit. Oh, my God. <laughs> the gluten and Sarah the gluten-free pussy and that Kendrick and, D Kendrick and Drake joke is definitely the best one. I, God, it's so hard. I think, uh, I mean, AJ already won. I think AJ did, like, slide it out, but fucking Sarah, you're a, a rock star. Give up for that. Rock star Sarah coming in from New York. Sarah Barnett's here. Thank you for doing the show. Thank you for having me. This is so much fun. You know, when I first heard of you, I have a good friend. His name's Matthew Mitchell. Now, he's a good he's a good friend of mine. And he said after he did Skankfest Las Vegas, not this time, but the previous time, right? He's he went up there. He did a naked roast battle with none other than you. And he said, and I quote, "This is gonna be weird." He said, "Yeah, I mean, I was up there being all flubby, and she's up there, and she has a perfect vagina, so it was pretty difficult to battle." Now, <laughs> how many? Hey, was that your first time doing a naked roast battle? First naked roast, but I have done five naked shows. Okay, so you're experienced in the naked realm. Yes, thank you. Well, how does it, how, let, let me ask something. For somebody who's a seasoned naked performer, have you gotten more comfortable with it? Has it changed? Like, what, what is something that would surprise another performer who's never done a naked show? Reason that I did it was my friend was saying why he did it was that you can use it as a mind tool to say, I've done this naked, I can never be nervous, clothes because you can always think at least I'm not naked. And it's fun because you honestly forget about it. Like after you're on stage for one minute, you kind of forget you're naked and you start doing the thing. And it's like, it's in a place where they have orgies in Brooklyn. So it's like, it's just a fun environment. And it's, it feels goofy. It doesn't even feel like all sexual or weird. It just feels kind of goofy. Are the audiences typically naked as well? Not them, not everybody. Gotcha. Optional. Yeah. Well, how, 
reaction to Roast Battle Chicago. Well, I'm glad that you did it. You had the, in my opinion, the set of the night uh, with with none other than AJ Leidig, a, a beautiful baby boy, very funny guy, very good battler. What was it like coming from New York to another city to do roast battles? Is this the first time you've done that? Go to another city to do a battle? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Does that change the way that you write or approach the performance? Well, it's just because normally you have the advantage of kind of knowing the person. And this, same with Mitchell, it was like, this is a total stranger. So I have to go off instincts. And then some of them, you also realize some of your instincts were wrong in the moment. But you have no preconceived notion of them. So, yeah. But uh, good experience. Yeah. I'm glad you had a great experience. It was great having you. You fucking killed my favorite battle of the night by far. We'd love to have you back anytime. That'd be great. Please do. I will pay any amount. God, this was a horny show, dude. Real quick, let's talk to AJ about that real quick. Away from the loudest speaker of all time. I'm going to have to interrupt you, Tito. I'm sorry. I want to talk to this sweet, sexy boy. We can do this, Let's, Let's go over there. It's a bit. It's a bit loud here. I hope this mic can ha handle some of that. I am. I literally am. He said, "You look like you're hosting a really hosting a really bad game show." That is my life. Yeah. Now, AJ, Funny. set of the night. Ah, uh, I don't know what's in, in my in my opinion. From being up there, that was a, that was my favorite set of the show. Set of the night. You guys had just a classic back and forth. Your comeback specifically was great. I mean, in the moment, you really did that. How did you feel when I came back there? You told me that this was your favorite time doing roast battle. Yeah, this was my favorite by far. This was, uh, well, you say Saturday night. I think you're saying me specifically. I think Sarah and I had roast of the night. I agree. With that, yeah. Um, very tight, very close. Like, this was one I was telling Tito in the back, just because it's like Chicago versus New York. Admittedly, I did write a little bit harder for this one than I have in the past. And like, and she brought it too. Like it was really, it was a fun one to watch. I do think set of the night though, Pat Bulldog handling a heckler during a roast battle. I mean, incredible. Truly. That was fucking, dude, that was wild. I mean, you know, and I talked about this a little bit with Queenie, but typically during the battles, we don't get a lot of hecklers. So it's so fun to watch that dynamic. I don't even know. I don't know what I would have done. Like that's something that like, you can tell Pat's been doing it for 12 years for him to do that. That was really cool. Um, and end up winning in an audience that, like, just didn't like his existence as a dude that looks like that. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought it was cool. Uh, Sarah, like, had all of her friends here. And, like, they were uh, definitely on her side. But then, like, she didn't play into it, which I thought was a very cool move. Like, she stood behind her jokes, did a really good job. Like, I don't know. She was somebody that, like, I've gone against the last two are her and Matthew Mitchell. And both of them, I was, like, very intimidated going. Like, they're both very good at what they do. So... It was fun. Well, I hope you two have sex and I can watch. You guys are great. What a great, what a great fucking, what a great battle.